Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are doing good, Madridistas. But coming straight to our agenda today, we have received some very disturbing news regarding Fallon Mendy. And I'm shocked to hear some of the claims that are being made by the French journalist Romain Molina. The situation is very delicate in the Spanish capital, and about the story, I have tried to refer a number of news articles. You know, on this channel, I'm not very reactionary to every news which is there related to Madrid. I normally take my time, I refer to a number of news outlets. I check the source, I try my best to find out if what I am reading is misleading or not. And here, in the case of Mendy, this is exactly what I have done. And to be honest, I still lack clarity about all of this and I'm pretty sure you all are also in a similar dilemma. On one hand, we hear that Romain Molina is one of the most reliable investigative journalists. He has exposed numerous cases of corruptive behaviour and sexual assaults taking place in the sports industry. He has been a whistleblower in the past and he has created a good reputation. So what he's saying cannot be ruled out. Especially when you see a number of news outlets covering this, there can definitely be some substance in the claims of Mr. Romain Molina. On the other hand, there's also the popular saying of innocent until proven guilty, and I do see many Madridistas who are having such a stance. But before you hear what stance I have, let's have a look at the information we have regarding the story that we are covering. What were the words said by the journalist? What instigated him to put forward the groundbreaking information in front of all? We shall cover all of that, and without further ado, let's get started. And starting from the scratch altogether, the drama began when the Man City player Benjamin Menti was recently charged with six counts of rape and one of sexual assault, and he has been in custody since August. But as things turned out, the media used the pictures of Furlon Menti and Eduardo Menti in the articles related to Benjamin Menti, and this was strongly condemned by the Chelsea goalkeeper. And you can understand why Eduardo Menti was absolutely furious about the wrongful use of his image. The media was wrong to use him in the cover photo for an article which isn't related to him at all, and he came out with some very strong words. He said, It is sad that in 2021, both in France and in England, some black people do not have names or distinct faces. These photo mistakes seem anecdotal, but they are highly symbolic. It is not so difficult to differentiate between two faces, especially when they wear different shirts. So this was the statement of Eduardo regarding the incident and what we also find is that Furlon Mendy was tagged in his story. The Real Madrid left back didn't hesitate to express his gratitude and support and what he does is that he shares Eduardo Mendy's story and he says, Thank you Eduardo, we are in 2021, stop it. It will take time, but you will end up respecting us whether you like it or not. And these statements from Furlon were also expected and this should have been the end of the story but unfortunately Madridistas, this is where the story took a hard turn. The French journalist Romain Molina quoted Furlon Mendy's tweet and he wrote, Totally agree with you, it's outrageous, like a guy punching and kicking a girl after showing her his private parts. And this tweet was already hinting at something major that was brewing. We then find that Roman Molina had shared more details about Furlon in Twitter space that he hosted on his account. He said, Furlon Mendy punched a woman and kicked her head when she was on the ground after showing her his genitals in 2018. The player has a serious problem with alcohol. Leon knew all about this and covered it up in order to sell him to Real Madrid. He further said Fallon Mendy has a very serious alcohol problem. He was even caught driving drunk at Le Havre before the sexual assault case at Leon. And then he went on to mention that he approached many media outlets to report the incident about Fallon, but he was turned down as Mendy was linked to Real Madrid. He said, I told two major international media outlets about Fallon Mendy case and offered to give it to them, but they said no, it's too hot, Real Madrid and everything. And lastly, Romain added, the girl that Fallon Mendy violently assaulted in 2018 ended up in an emergency room at an hospital in ruin. Fallon Mendy did what he did with the girl at the McCur Chomps Elysee Hotel in Paris. So this was the information that the journalist gave regarding Fallon Mendy and many are saying that the journalist got confused but we can see in his statement that he has referred to Real Madrid while speaking about Mendy and we can be pretty sure that those statements were directed towards Fallon. And obviously when you hear these things you are literally shocked because such conduct cannot be expected from a Real Madrid player or any man for the sake of all. But the thing that is surprising me the most is that it has been a long time since those verbal attacks were made on Mendy and those words have been spreading very quickly but surprisingly enough, Fallon Mendy is yet to make a statement on all the allegations that were directed towards him by the journalist. He hasn't even said a word and that is a bit weird because we saw him posting on social media earlier in support of Eduardo and usually players often use this medium of communication when they feel that they are being wrongfully attacked. So in his defense, Mendy could have come out and outrightly said that those claims are false and misleading but it has been a long time and we have neither heard any statement from Furlon Mendy and we haven't heard any statement from Real Madrid as well. You'd assume that the club would do their best to refute those 
claims, believe that the player is on the right and it is a case of defamation. But as things stand, we don't hear anything from Furlong Mendy's side and that is a sticking point which makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. It is a big issue that we have in hand, we should take it very seriously. I'm currently tracking the news, still waiting for more updates on the situation before coming to a conclusive stance and I think many of you are still confused and you want more information on this. But what I'd say is that in my opinion, Real Madrid should not field Mendy for the next two weeks. I would personally like a preliminary investigation being done because that is what I think will bring justice to both Fallon and the girl who supposedly was the victim. If Mendy indeed is wrong and has committed those sexual offences, I don't think there is anything to question about the outcome. He should be punished. We are morally obligated to stand in support of the victim who suffered major injuries during the incident that took place in 2018. This is a major social problem that a society faces and there are many instances where the victims often don't get justice and the perpetrators are walking around wherever they want with utmost freedom. This should not happen and justice should be served to those who deserve it. But if the allegations don't come out to be true, then definitely Mendy should file a defamation case, file a case against the journalist and we shall support Mendy for the trauma of the entire process. So let's see how things work out. I'm neutral right now. I'm not going to show support for anyone. Mendy is a player and if he's right, we will support him with all our might. But if he's wrong, then he's simply wrong. There's no justification. He should be behind bars for the atrocious act and he will not have any compassion from my end. So that is all I'd like to say. I know these days having a neutral stance isn't the most popular thing to do, but that is how it should be, right? There's no point in being reactionary, having half knowledge and half information. But soon, we will be having more knowledge. Soon enough, we will have more news outlets covering the story and soon we will get to know more about the truth. Let's give some time to the police to conduct the investigation, let things get confirmed and then we'll tear apart one of Molina or Fulon Menti. If Molina is in the wrong, we will strongly condemn his actions and if Fulon Mendy is wrong, obviously we'll condemn and disown the French left back without any mercy. And that is all I have here. Do let me know how did you feel hearing all the news regarding Fulon Mendy and what was your initial reaction? Do let me know in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Glory to Madrid. And as always, a la Madrid.